with the last pick in this year's draft. So I was watching one of my favorite YouTube channels after further review, when the topic came up about Taysom Hill possibly being a Hall of Famer. Now I pride myself on being unbiased in my sports takes. It doesn't matter if it's my favorite team, favorite player, favorite artist, I try to have an unbiased standpoint when viewing them. So in this regard, I'm gonna give my fair and unbiased opinion on if Taysom Hill is a Hall of Famer. There were some key points that jumped out to me in the video that I was watching. And I wanna make sure I hit all of those key points in this very video. I'm gonna try to give the best context to the things that I'm saying as possible. And I think that it's important that I restate that I am unbiased. And one thing that I realized is that people are very biased to the players that they support. Case and example, Derek Carr. Boy, have I gotten so many messages about the video that I made talking about why Saints fans don't like Derek Carr. Nothing in the video was a lie. It was just points on why they dislike Derek Carr. But I digress. Again, people are biased to what they like. And if there's one person that I know the Who That Nation does like, it is Taysom Hill. So let's get into the talking points of After Further Reviews video. One of the main points that Matt threw out in this video is that Devin Hester's case to get into the Hall of Fame should be leveraged to help Taysom Hill. And I do not agree with that. Yes, we are talking about two players that played multiple positions. However, Devin Hester was the GOAT at the second position he played, whereas Taysom Hill is good at a lot of positions. Let me say that to you again. Devin Hester is the GOAT at a singular position, even though he played multiple positions. Yes, it wasn't the position he was drafted to do, but special teams is also considered a part of the game of football. Pump return and kick return is a position that needs to be filled on a roster. And if you are the greatest of all time at any position, you deserve to go into the Hall of Fame. And again, I'm not saying that Taysom is not a great player. He is a phenomenal player. But you are comparing someone who is the greatest of all time at a position to someone who is good at a bunch of positions. I hate to say this, but it's the Hall of Fame and not the Hall of Good. I also hear people throw out the name Jim Trope, saying how Jim Trope played multiple positions, but he's in the Hall of Fame. See, this is why in every video that I drop, I always talk about context. You have to give context to the things that you say. Jim Trope was one of the best players of his era. He held multiple records at the time of his retirement. He was also named an All-Pro and he was named to an all decades team. Now, I want you to remember the accolades I just said because accolades is very important when it comes to getting into the Hall of Fame. We can also go back to someone like Devin Hester. Devin Hester had five all pro selections. He was named to two all decades teams and had multiple Pro Bowl appearances. And I say all of that to say this, you must have at least one postseason honor to get into the Hall of Fame. At this point, Taysom Hill has zero. If Taysom Hill's career was the end today, he wouldn't have the qualifications to even get into the Hall of Fame. And I get it, we as Saints fans, because yes, I am a Saints fan, like to believe that our players are better than what they really are. If the NFL had a Swiss Army knife position, I'm more than sure that Taysom Hill would have an all pro selection and a Pro Bowl appearance. Now listen, I'm not saying that Taysom Hill won't be inducted into the Saints Hall of Fame. When he finally hangs his cleats up, he's going to be in the ring of honor, and I'm more than sure he's going to be in the Saints Hall of Fame. But he does not have the body of work to be put in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Like, there are so many football players waiting to be put in the Hall of Fame as we speak. Brandon Marshall, Fred Taylor, Jari Evans, Marshawn Lynch, Eli Manning, and a gang of other players that I did not mention. You also have Drew Brees who's going to be eligible within the next two years. So as the years go on, more players that are more deserving are going to be eligible to go into the Hall of Fame. And I really don't see Taysom Hill beating out a lot of people who are deserving to be in the Hall of Fame. There's only about four to eight people who can be inducted per year. And me being unbiased, I don't see Taysom Hill beating out someone like Fred Taylor. So yeah, do I think Taysom Hill would make the Hall of Fame? Yes, the New Orleans Saints Hall of Fame. I just don't see him making the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Unless he wins one of the following, a Super Bowl, a Super Bowl MVP, MVP, Offensive Player of the Year, All-Pro Selection, Pro Bowl Selection. And the way that this current New Orleans Saints team looks, I doubt it. However, what do I know? I'm not on the voting committee. 